Hey everyone, welcome to my annual year in review video for Weekly 50. Even though this is coming a little bit late since it's now February of 2024, I wanted to give my thoughts on Weekly 50 for the past year, which would be 2023, share my top three photos, and talk about what's in store for the year ahead. Even though we've already started the year ahead, that's okay. As always, before anything else, I just want to say a special thanks to all of you for your engagement with Weekly 50, for looking at the photos, reading my thoughts about them, listening to the audio commentary, or even leaving your own comments on the blog, on YouTube, or on Flickr. I see all of them, and I appreciate all of them. Sometimes, I there was a time last year where I was getting people commenting on the YouTube videos and I had no notifications that anyone was commenting and, it, and like a month or two went by and, and, uh, I, I logged in into the studio one time on, uh, my weekly 50 YouTube account and saw there was a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't even know was there, a bunch of comments. So I read it all and I, I want you to know that I appreciate all of it. Thank you so much. Your comments mean so much to me and I want you all to know how much I appreciate the time uh, the times when you talk about how one of my pictures has given you some new ideas or made you rethink your own photography or caused you to think about something in a new way. And you all give me a lot of things to think about too. So thank you for all of this. I started Weekly 50 almost 11 years ago. I've been doing this for almost 11 years. I, I think it was early March of 2013 that I started Weekly 50. So we're we're just about to... 11 years on this, and it still feels like I'm just beginning to learn how to be a photographer. Even after over a decade, there's so much to learn. And as always, I'm excited for the continued journey ahead, and I'm so grateful to have all of you here along for the ride. So let's talk about my top three photos from the past year. I know you probably pe hear people say things like this uh, all the time, but it really is difficult to narrow 52 photos down to just my top three. doesn't mean these are the best necessarily, but these are for the three that stood out to me the most. I felt like I grew a lot during this past year in both photography knowledge as well as got some new camera gear, and I took a lot of pretty cool photos as a result. That being said, my third favorite image of 2023 is this picture of a bunch of blue bubbles. It's a bit different from what you might expect, but that's kind of why I like it. I almost never take images that are basically just one color. So it was fun to try that here. And I like that it's kind of open to your own interpretation of what's going on here. I like the pair of small bubbles on the right that capture your attention just before broadening out to the rest of the shot. This is actually just a bottle of hand soap from my kitchen <laughs> and it was lit with the sun. I put it in a windowsill and took it the picture uh, of a backlit bottle of hand soap. Uh, with my macro lens and then edited, edited it with a translucent blue layer in Photoshop. That was actually an idea that a friend from work gave me. Um, she said, well, what, do you, what if you just turn it blue with a blue layer in Photoshop? And I, I thought, well, yeah, that's a great idea. And I really like it. This photo is not really difficult or really complicated, but it was really fun to take. And it's been the wallpaper on my web browser ever since. That new tab background that some browsers have. So Number three, my, my top three favorite photos from the past year. My second favorite image is this shot of a hummingbird moth in flight, right about as it's, uh, right as, as it's about to sip some nectar. I took probably 100, maybe 200 shots of this little animal. And when I was looking through them, I just kind of sat there in shock when I got to this one. Like, did that really happen? Did I really just take this picture? It was literally right in my own backyard, and everything about it just works. The super sharp eye, the slightly uncurled proboscis, whatever that thing is called that's sticking out there, the blurry wings. This is taken at 1 1500th of a second, which is super fast, but shows motion blur. Even uh, because the wings are moving so fast, even the background colors, which make the animal stand out. I'm just so happy with this photo. This is one of those where everything just worked. And I have a feeling that I'll be comparing all of my small animal macro shots to this one right here for a really long time. So that's my third and second favorite photo from the past year. What's my favorite photo from the past year? This video game controller. This one was actually pretty easy. This 
is a shot of a controller and I like it for what it represents. Since I was and remain a big fan of video games and have lots of fond memories of playing Nintendo with my brothers and my sister growing up. And my favorite game to this day remains Super Metroid. It's all wrapped up in this classic controller. And so the, there's the image of this photo, like what you see here, but there's also the meaning behind it. It, it kind of holds a special place in my heart, this, this idea of playing classic video games. So that's why it, it means a lot to me, but from a photography perspective, it was this shot right here that opened my eyes to off-camera lighting, specifically these, these Nanlite Pavo tubes. A uh, friend from work, actually the same friend who uh, gave me the idea of adding a blue layer to that uh, picture of uh, yellow soap. Uh, that same friend from work uh, showed me a couple of these at work and I, I bought one or two of them kind of on a whim. And when I set up the controller on my washing machine, along with two of these Pavo tubes, one set to purple and the other set to orange, it was like scales fell from my eyes. It was a whole new world of photography opened up to me right there in the laundry room of my house. And I started using these Pavo tubes all the time, even on photo sessions with clients. These lights have totally changed my approach to photography. And it all started with this shot of a video game controller. And yes, I have external speed lights. I actually have two. I have a Nikon and a, a third-party off-brand flash that I use uh, every now and then, but I have gone all in on these Pavo tubes. If anyone is interested in something new to try. I, uh, this is my, always my number one recommendation when someone's like, you know, what can I do to kind of, uh, up my photography game? Uh, maybe try something new as a, now, like, uh, as of the time I got these, my, my recommendation is now always the same. Get some of these. Um, they're, they're awesome. Don't work for everybody because all depends on what you want to do and your photography goals. But man, I can't get enough of these nan lights. So what about 2024? I always talk about my goals for the coming year in these videos. And one thing I'd like to try more in the coming year is focus stacking. I want to give a special shout out to D Welker from, uh, you'll see him if you go to the YouTube comments on any of my videos. Thank you, D, for giving me the idea of trying more focus stacking. I always appreciate your comments on my photos, D. Um, I've taken lots of photos using focus stacking, but it's always kind of in an improvised setting, like while holding my, like hand hold, handheld holding my camera, not really controlling anything. Um, I'd really like to try more with focus stacking specifically. Uh, the results I've gotten are fine, but I know I could do better. And uh, I think it's something that I could legitimately learn and get better at with practice and be intentional about it. So I'd like to try to do that more in the coming year and see what happens. I'd also, of course, like to continue using my Nanlite Pavo tubes. So that about does it for this video. But what about you? What are some of your photography goals for the next year? Do you have any favorite images from 2023 that you'd like to share? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And hopefully the coming year is good for you in terms of photography, but also on a personal level too. I hope it's a good year ahead. May God bless you both now and throughout 2024. Thank you so much.